Hi, my name is Val and I'm the product designer here at Circuit Scribe. Today I'm here to talk to you about the blinker module. The blinker module is pretty cool because it allows you to flash lights, start and stop the motor, start and stop your buzzer. Um, basically, it creates a square wave out of your battery. So instead of always having a high current, you're going to have your current be high and then low and then high and then low. So if you look at this module right here, I've outlined what the different feet do and how to use it. So we have a power foot and a ground foot. The power is gonna be connected to the positive end of the battery and the ground is gonna be connected to the negative end of the battery. So if I take a battery, I'm gonna to wanna to align it like that. So I got plus to here, which is labeled VCC on my module and minus to here, which is labeled ground, GND. Then I have the output. That's where that square wave that I talked about is gonna go. So from the power, we're gonna go um, to the output and instead of having that high all the time, basically light on all the time, you're gonna have the light on for a little bit and then off for a little bit, on for a little bit, off for a little bit. Um, the dial right here is used to adjust the speed. So the way this module works is it has a 555 timer on it and then this knob is a variable resistor. So by changing the amount of resistance that we give the 555 timer, we change the length of our square wave. Changing the length of our square wave changes how, changes how long the output is high versus low. So if I want a really fast blink, I'm gonna turn my dial all the way one way and I will have my, a very close together square wave where it's gonna go high, low, high, low, high, low, high, low. If I want a really slow blink, I'm gonna turn my dial all the way the other way and have it go high for a really long time and then low for a really long time, high for a really long time and then low for a really long time. Now we're gonna draw a circuit using the battery, the blinker and the LED. So now we have a working blinker circuit. We have the power coming from the plus side of our battery connecting to the VCC foot of the blinker the negative side of our battery connecting to the ground of our blinker, the output of the blinker connected to the LED, and then the other side of the LED connected all the way back to ground. So you can see here, we have the output of the uh, blinker component flashing green, letting you know that it's working. And then the um, LED is flashing in time with it. So if I turn my knob all the way to the left, I get a really, really fast blink. If I turn my knob to the right all the way, I get a very slow blink. So, And then you can adjust it in the middle wherever you like. Let's look at some other circuits you can make with the blinker. So this circuit's pretty cool. If you just look at this half, this is the circuit we built before. So we have our battery, our blinker, our LED, we're connected to ground and we're flashing in time with the output of the blinker. Now, when we add this one in, we connected the output through the LED to the positive side of the battery and we get the opposite. So when this is off, this guy's on. When this one's on, so is this guy. So we're able to flip back and forth between the two LEDs and we can still adjust the speed. So you don't have to just use LEDs with the blinker. We can take an LED out and put a buzzer in and get some noise. That's all my circuits for today. So thanks for watching and keep an eye out for even more module videos to come.